Motai exclusive dimensional being Kai with another exclusive grand rising kings queens gods and goddesses you already know today's video is going to be about sun and pisces moon and pisces that's this is basically a new cycle of new beginnings whatever you did in the past whatever downfalls or whatever retrograde in, energy that was actually having you stagnated it's time to clear out your closet it's time to get all those baggages, all those emotions. Push that shit out of there. Get the lighter. Get the ignitions. Light that shit up. Light it up. Burn it. Feel me? Get rid of it. Feel me? It's, it's a new beginning. It's a new stage. We're we not being stuck on the past. We're being stuck on manifestations. Feel me? See, it's not lighting up. Because that basically means that we need to actually start lighting shit up, lighting our chakras up, and being consistent with ourselves and believing in ourselves. Feel me? This is a new time. This is a new structure right now. So that means, me and that the sun is in Pisces, we have to act in a Pisces manner, but do it in our own structure. So that means find your 12th house, find where your 12th house is at, and act in your own natures, in your own alignments. So, for instance, if your 12th house is in the first house, that means you got to express yourself through self-imagination, creativity, and stability. If it's in the second house, you got to value, use your values of your wants and needs, your desires. Feel me? Third house, thinking, communication, travel, people, places, and things around you. Fourth, what actually means the way you care, love, and creativity instability throughout the family this can mean you coming together as your family having goals and dreams and obligations to have a big house a big home and if your 12th house is in your fifth house you can also play out with these energies of basically expressing yourself through self-motivation having the imagination being more creative being more open not giving the fuck about what somebody else think but having your own idea your own concept and your own way of expressing yourself throughout there in the public arena. Six house will be how you express yourself through people, places, and things, being organized, your creations, your goals, your instabilities. Seven house will be how you relate to people, like relationship-wise, your desires, your wants and needs, things you want to have established, you relating to people, places, and things, being more open, seeing things for how to go through a cause. Eight, it's basically your secrets, your um, uh, your um aspirations, your, the things you admire, things that's hidden in the dark. Ninth house will actually be through your wisdom, knowledge, being able to travel, being more open, being more optimistic, being more creative, having being more spiritually inclined, being more rebellious to yourself. Tenth house will be how you build and construct things against people places and things the arenas the way you self preserve yourself your persistence 11th house will be how you explore yourself through a humanitarian side of point of view and aspect how you express yourself through the world how you give love and care to the world <laughs> how you want to see basically is relating to worldwide point of view and, and self-awareness and what well welfare for the humans around the world having everybody being more st stable stabilized and more re resistant for me 11 that's the 11th house 12th house would be your dreams imagination your creativity the illusions not getting too caught up into your dreams but actually utilizing the left brain also to combine the right brain and express yourself throughout the public arena so you can actually manifest what you really want to manifest in this life and Become whatever you want to be. That's basically like the sun. Being the sun in Pisces throughout all zodiac signs. Now when you got the sun and the moon. Sun, you got the Pisces and the moon. This is basically dealing with the intellect. The internal around your feminine size. The way you express yourself through the arena. The way you express yourself internally. Through your arena. How you... Partake, how you partake, how you part play, how you think, how you express yourself, your emotions, your creati your creativity, your stability, how you redirect yourself into the public arena 
for your imaginations and your dreams and your fantasies can actually come true and through, and through your natures and through other people, places, things and how you express it, how you share it, how you value it, how you bring that to other people so they can have admirations to actually do the same thing and uplift themselves and find themselves in their own creativity. Because remember, you got to act in your own nature to be whatever you want to be in, t in this world. You can't try to be, you can't try to do something that somebody else already did and think it's going to work into your nature. It will, depending on what planetary alignments is in your charts. But if it don't work that way, then you have to do it in your own char characteristic ways. And you got to find yourself through first house, fifth house, and ninth house. First house would be how you represent yourself, your personality, your structure. Fifth house would be how you express yourself, your creativity, things that's hidden inside of you, your gift, your talents. Ninth house would be your wisdom and knowledge, the way you carry yourself. And of course, you got to express it through your, seventh, your second house, the people people around you, your values, your structures, the objects, everything. Everything is partic participating in energy, so you have to express it. Through energy and use the energy and use the stars and use the alignments and use the planets and use the energy to construct your way and your instability of doing things. Your creations, your business, your arenas, your goals, people, places, and things around you. Your structures, your business, your orientations, your meetings, people you respond to, people you relate to, people you express yourself to. And of course, that's how it's supposed to play out. That's what the moon being in Pisces. For me, it's, all the, it's dealing with Neptune. Dreams, imaginations, illusions. Now, it's all about... The thing is, when you want to express yourself through this, you have to have an imagination. No matter what you do, if you have a 9 to 5, you make sure you have an imagination. Make sure you're using your imagination. Make sure your imagination is not being used towards what you're doing in front of you. So that's something that's outside of you. You remember, the way you was brought on this planet Earth was through your imagination, creativity, and stability. That's automatic. You feel me? That's how your spirit created you. That's how your soul partic participated in your body on a day to day structure. And you must rest these bodies. You must love these bodies. You must take care of these bodies. You must eat right. You must put yourself in the higher frequency vibration energy. To make sure you're manifesting and having creativities and having your fruits of, fruits of labors being manifested through not only the spiritual eye, but through these two eyes too. So you can have desires and you can have somewhere to rest on and not be so serious. But it's very important to be serious, whether you're dealing with the right and the left, the internal and the external. Very serious. It's very important to be consistent because if you're not consistent, you're gonna get the right. You're gonna get knocked right back down. And if you're not on point, if you're not on task, then basically you're gonna keep repeating the process until your ass get on task and get on board. That's why it's good to have a strong spirit. If you have a weak spirit, you ain't gonna make it in this motherfucking world, and that's real shit. That's why it's very good to make sure you put in time into yourself. Self indulgement is very important. Make sure creativity and stability. It's on the spectrum of you putting yourself first. You come first. Always remember that shit. Isolation is what's needed in order for you to actually get your mind right. If you're around 30, 40, 50 people and you're trying to take a shower and wash your ass and have privacy, how is that going to work out for all these people around you? You got to make sure you isolating yourself from people, places, and things and knowing when it's time to have self-indulgement and knowing when it's time to have a com combination of indulgement. And basically participating in things and structures that's going to allow you to actually be able to point point yourself and have a point of view and put yourself in a direction where you need to be and where you don't want to put yourself in a situation where you be suffering and shit. So basically that's what it's all about, feel me? And of course, we're in Mercury retrograde, so we're going back into time. We're going back into things that we lack on slack on procrastinated on people that did us wrong relationships breaking up x ex, x is coming back into play things you indulge in things that happened and took place into your life you losing your job you losing your car maintenance dreams illusions imaginations creativities things that's actually 
manifesting and things that didn't manifest is going to be popping right back up into your mind. Do not, do not indulge into what took place in the past as far as negativity wise. Because when you're doing that, you're going to create an orb around your aura and you're going to block yourself from opportunities and chances to actually rise above and have more fruits and gold and silver come your way. So it's very important to make sure you're not putting yourself in that predicament of thinking about the past. It's time to focus on the future. It's time to keep moving forward and create another spectrum, a new spectrum. Today is Sunday. The sun is in Pisces. The moon is in Pisces. So today we just need to like relax, kick back, chill, feel me, get our, get our mind right, feel me, get, tap into some meditation also. Make sure your mind is right. Make sure you taking care of yourself, self-indulgement. That's very important. Make sure your health is right. Make sure you detoxing. It's very important to make sure you detox. Get all that shit out of your body. Also, meditation, working on your breathing and making sure your heart is pumping at a relaxational rate. If your heart pumping fast, then that means you're experiencing something new. If your heart ain't pumping right, then you ain't vibrating right. And you need to vibrate higher than what you're thinking that you're vibrating. When you, you need to be on a higher level. Because once you vibrate high, you're going to be able to attract a whole lot. And a lot of things going to go your way. But when you're creating an orbit, having self-doubt, and giving up on yourself and procrastinating, you're going to keep fucking going down. And that devil going to keep putting his fucking seeds on you and keep playing it on you. Almost to the point you all ass going to have to bring Pluto into, Pluto into the existence by killing and destroying your ass. And bring you right back into the same circumstance situation to repeat and repent again. So make sure you on point every fucking day because every day is a challenge. The universe is going to challenge you every single day. The universe is going to give you what you can handle. And what you can't handle, the universe ain't going to bother because you already got enough on your plate. Why give you more? You're only going to kill yourself and keep killing yourself almost to the point where your ass going to realize, yo, I really need to take life more serious in order for me to manifest and get through these obstacles and situations. Therefore, it's very important to make sure you being focused and aiming for the goal, making sure you put in time and feeling and emotions and ideas and concepts into yourself and not put it into fucking TVs, television that tell lies to your vision. Stop flipping that damn fucking remote. Stop eating them sloppy ass foods that causing you, giving you brain fog and you're not programming the food for your own way and your own desire. You're basically eating that food for that food to program you and give you the itis and stop you from creating and having a goal and imagination, creativity, and stability. That food is basically creating its own imagination on what it's going to do by actually killing you, becoming a parasite, eating up your body, manifesting with your dreams, imagination, creativity, ideas, and concepts, and basically putting you on the verge of actually becoming a hot dog one day while that motherfucking hot dog you ate going to become a human. And while your ass is suffering and shit, your ass wasn't spiritually inclined. Your ass wasn't programming to almost to the point where your ass is going to be deceased. And that motherfucking hot dog is a human now. Real shit. Y'all really need to understand the overstand. Energy, anything where you see energy with your two eyes is an actual thing that came from above. And it came back down. So no matter what they tell you. Also with the religious motherfuckers that's, that's out there and shit. Everything came from above and came down. So whether you whether you thinking about astrology is demonic, that shit came from the higher from the higher above realm and came down here. And people that use astrology every day for their own basis are actually using this shit every single day. Even the people in the Bible that even the people you praise or worship these demons where you're not supposed to worship no person, place, or thing but yourself, which is the overall God in you. Y'all worshiping these motherfuckers and giving y'all power and energy to these motherfuckers almost to the point where you give all your all to it and then boom, what you got left for yourself? Had this one dickhead that said, oh, worshiping yourself is demonic. It's, it's Satan. How the fuck is me praising myself with my... Because basically, I have to represent myself. Ain't nothing gonna come out here and represent itself for me. My spirit, my soul is powerful, motherfucker. I don't know what you're talking about right now because you're talking out your ass. I need my vessel, which is my spirit, my soul, my body to operate. Because clearly, motherfucker, I came, out the, I came out the vagina. I came out the vagina by myself. Well, basically, my three vessels, my, which is my high consciousness, which created this soul 
and this vessel to be made for me to actually punctuate and express myself in the open arena. So how the fuck does me worshiping myself as demonic? What kind of stupid shit y'all niggas talking about? Get off that religious shit, man. That shit is old and outdated. It's trash. They ain't gonna say strategy is divination is evil is demonic. Dumbass. Clearly, when you have a dream, that's divination right there. You're basically witnessing what's going to happen and what already actually happened in the higher realm, which is the yin realm, the feminine, the internal, the moon. Now it's going to express itself in the physical because remember, time is infinite in the yin world. Time moves fast. And when you're out here in the physical, time is going to take, take its time for the departure. But once you start witnessing visions, witnessing their psychic abilities and witnessing all of that come into play, that's divination. So how the fuck? Is that evil? It's a, if it's already a natural gift implanted inside you already, dumbass. So for the people that's out here originally and saying, oh, astrology is demonic. Your Bible, your Bible already saying that, oh, looking into the future is demonic. But listen, they're already, they're already basically saying what they already did in the Bible, dumbass. Listen, that's why I told him straight up, you religious. That means... Your higher learning and aspects of actually trying to learn something is restricted. It's limitless. It's limitless with me because I can I go above limits. I'm not governed by no government. By no government. I'm not governed by no motherfucking book. I'm not governed by no words, wisdom, and knowledge. None of that shit. I'm gonna keep going higher and higher because I'm spiritual. I can do whatever the fuck I want to do. You religious, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do because you want to basically be governed by something and keep worshiping something that's outside of you instead of yourself. Almost to the point where you're going to keep coming back to reincarnation and witnessing trials and tribulations all over again, the resurrection all over again. Motherfucker, if that's what you want to do, that's your imagination, that's your creativity, that's your instability, that's you. You want to give your imagination, your power to something outside of you, that's you, motherfucker. But don't come try to preach that shit to me, motherfucker, because you a demon in disguise. And don't try to call me a motherfucking demon just because I have free will and free power to do whatever the fuck I want to do. And I'm always be in a good state of being, no matter where I go, leaving off this motherfucking planet. Real shit. But let's get into these energies because, you know, I don't want to keep this video too long because I know everybody got a life. And feel me? And we about to break this shit down. So, basically, with that being said, we about to get straight into these aspects. Because, feel me? Everything going to come with an aspect. Aspects is important. Feel me? Because you're going to have the knowledge of what's going on with the sun, the moon, the planets, the alignments, the conjunctions, the sextiles, the trials. You're going to have... Everything, but you got to know what kind of energies and what kind of aspects that you're going to display and it's going to display out in the openings when you out there and shit. This way, when this shit hits you, you won't be stuck on lostness and you will know what's going on. So, feel me? So, it's real deep. It's very important to really know what's up and know what's going on in the air. This way, you're not being sucked up in and you're not getting caught up and all washed up under the current because it's real deep with this shit. So... We got a sun square Pluto. So that's new beginnings. So whatever you did in the past, erase it, get rid of it. Don't think about it. Don't ponder on it. This is new beginnings. You want to be a teacher? So put your mind to being a teacher. Write it down on paper. Put add fire, which is aggression. Add water, which is the feeling. Add air, communication by speaking into existence. And add practicality by doing it all over and over again. Go to see what's on your mind. Talk about it. Share it. Express it. Think about it. Know about it. Go go in debt with it. Go within with it. Express yourself. Be more open. Be more reliable. Feel me? And then the people that's doubting you, don't fucking listen to them. Everybody got their own way of manifesting and expressing themselves in the public arena. So with that being said, find your purpose. Don't try to look at nobody else's purpose. If you want to do that, then you focus and aim the goal. Put your attention, mind, body, and soul towards it. Make sure your internal health is good. Make sure your external health is good. Make sure, make sure you're consistent and you're on a day-to-day -day basis and make sure you're practic practicing this shit in order for you to manifest it. That way, it'll come faster. and You won't have to be putting yourself into circumstances and situations of it being taking forever to come into play because, feel me, it don't go like that. 
your internal is what's going to manifest it. Your imagination creativity is what's going to manifest it. And if you ain't putting time into that, I don't know what the fuck you're doing with yourself. I don't know how the hell you're going to become a teacher if you ain't taking this shit serious. This is very important to make sure you put time into yourself. Self, self is wealth. Wealth is care. Feel me? Health is wealth. Wealth is health. Real shit. And we got a moon sextile and a, and a native moon, which is basically Pisces. So... With that being said, moon, yeah, so the new the moon is being sextile with Pisces. So that means we gotta act out on our new connections, our new way of practicality, meditation, which is important, going within, making sure that we are being consistent, writing things down on paper. I will utilizing the words and putting your imagination, creativity, and stability into it. Being more open. For more information, being more subtle, for actually diving into things that's going to help you and not be laid back about things. That's what you want to go into your favor and you're not putting time into it. Everything starts with you. You create this world. You got to understand and understand that shit. Nobody else is creating it. So if you let people hold you up and block you and stop you, then that's your fault. That's not nobody else's fault. But shoot. Because you have an option. You got two legs, two arms, and a brain. You can go forward or you can go backwards. And we're not going retrograde, motherfucker. We're going forward with Mercury. We're going forward with these planets. We're going pushing up. We're going above. We're ascending. We're going high. We're not coming down. We're not descending. We're not degrading. We're not doing that. We're not doing that shit. We're not going back into the past. We're going to the future. You fucked up yesterday. Today is a new day to fuck up. Not fuck down. Because when you go down, you're going to keep failing. When you go up, you're going to keep going up and higher. And feel me? You need to be focused. You need to be consistent. That procrastinating shit ain't going to get you nowhere in life. Always fucking remember that shit. Every day is a purpose. And if you don't see it coming, you better keep better keep creating good ideas and the ideas and concepts and imagination. And creativity and stability in that motherfucking brain of yours. Real shit. You better smile every day. You better look good every day. You better act like you have it every day. In order for you to actually manifest this shit, man. It's real shit. Don't care. Universe don't care about that other shit. They want to see how you handle this shit. And when you, once you fold, that's it. You got to try again. Whether it's in this life or in the next life. Real shit. Now look. We got moon sextile with Jupiter. So that means the moon, which is the Pisces, is in Jupiter. So Pisces is more reliable with the unseen, which is Neptune and Jupiter, wisdom and knowledge, creativity, traveling, going within. So that means, for instance, you want to go to Neptune, you want to travel Neptune, have on your mind, you want to go to Neptune, you want to go within, you want to travel these dimensions, you want to travel these worlds, you want to go to the fourth, fifth and sixth dimension, you want to see what's up, you want to get information, you want to be open, you want to control your dreams. You want to have this shit on your mind when you go to sleep. You want to be open. You want to be more desirable. You want to have passion. You want to have gift. You want to have motivation. You want to have structure. You want to go to Jupiter. You want to get wisdom and knowledge, right? You want this shit to stick with you, right? You have to have this on your mind every motherfucking day. I don't care a 9 to 5 getting in your way. You better have this shit at, at your 9 to 5 job. You better be creative. You better be consistent. This way, you'll be able to actually manifest what you really want in this world. And not putting your dreams, imagination, creativity at a motherfucking job. Because trust me, once you once you in your own world, your day going to go by fast. And you're on your break time, use that time to, one, meditate. Use your imagination, creativity, and stability. Sun gaze, moon gaze. Put time into that shit. This way it'll go into your structure. Don't be going to work, oh, with a negative energy. Oh, I hate being here. I'm tired, man. Uh, that shit, man. Cut that shit out. Get rid of that shit. Bury that shit. Bury that act. Bury that shit. Get rid of it. Burn it. I don't want to be seeing motherfuckers around here with that kind of mood or attitude. Real shit. Universe don't want to see that shit. They want to see you smiling. They want to see everything going great. They want to make sure you're vibrating high. They want to make sure your frequency and energy is high. Because when it's high, you'll be open for more opportunities and more doors come going to come into your way. Real shit, man. For me, it's positive feelings and connections. That's all. Mercury sextile with the moon. So you'll be more more creative with your thinking, more intellect, 
having more purpose, more ideas, more concepts, more values, being more consistent, more reliable with your thoughts and ideas. And we basically expressing this to um, the Jupiter. So that means more openness, for more wisdom and knowledge, being more creative. So when the sextile, that means 50-50, everything is balanced, the energy is high, the energy is working together, and that's what we need to do, come together as one. Especially if we want to really manifest out here and shit. Mars sextile with the natal Jupiter. So Mars, that's passion, creativity, self, fire. That's a fire alignment. Basically, that's where Mars is. That's where you want to go. That's where you want to travel. That's where you want to have your intellect at. We all got these planets within us. The universe is within us. And when we use these energies, we'll be able to express it and get what we want. Feel me? Then we got Mars, sextile, natal Jupiter. So Jupiter is wisdom and knowledge. Feel me? So that means with this Mars and Jupiter, that means we're going to be very passionate, very desirable, and more open to the spirituality, more wisdom, more education, more knowledge. And we're going to be basically traveling these dimensions and being more open and being more creative and being more consistent, more passionate, more dominant. We're just going to be acting without even thinking. We're just going to be more physical, more feel me. We're going to bring that, that urge. And that's what everybody need to do. Feel me? Take the time to be mutable and shit. This is the time to be fixed, fixated on, on the idea and the concept. I mean, be more structured, be whole more value. Don't procrastinate. Don't talk about the shit. Get the shit done. Stop talking and do and start doing more. Getting more into yourself. Feel me? That's what we need to do. Fuck all that talking shit. We need to really get serious with this shit. We need to have. We need to be a comp. We need to be accompanied by what we need to value and be more consistent and predicated to what we need to have more desires and more open and this way more structures and obstacles will come our way but we gotta really fight through this shit don't skip it destroy it take it with you take that energy hold it on your sleeves let the world know share it express it this way we're gonna have more opportunities and chances to be more reliable real shit so we also got Saturn conjunction Neptune. So illusions from the past is gonna keep coming up, and Saturn is about restrictions, being serious, being consistent and dominant. Feel me? Being more strict. So basically, what we need to not do is think about the past. What we need to not do is put too much strain on ourselves. We gotta be balanced though. So that means. We got to be strict and we got to actually aim for our goals. Don't let Saturn use you. Use Saturn. Be strict in your own desire, in your own way. No one to indulge and no one to not indulge. Be very careful because these planets will wash you up if you allow it. And if you're not consistent, then it's not going to go in your way. Know your, you'll know your factor or shit. That's why it's very important to be consistent. And be very grounded. So we got Uranus, square Uranus. So that means we're going to be more open for new spiritual ways. Being more rebellious, more practical. Being more consistent, more perspective. And more opportunities are going to be opening up for us. So we need to use these elements and use these energies to actually manifest what we need to do. And don't let these energies just be sitting here and not being used. Because if you're not participating in that... Then it's gonna hold you back. And you need to be consistent. You need to be on point. And you and be more rebellious and more unique with your style. Don't try to follow nobody follow nobody on trend on nobody's way of doing things. Be your own way, your own unique way. Express yourself in your own way. Firm, have more creation, more desires, and more willpower and manifest it. So Pluto sextile Saturn. So Pluto is transformation, death, sex, rebirth. So we need to transform our old ways into our new ways, our new structures, our new way of doing things, our new way of carrying ourselves. Get rid of old baggages. Get a, get rid of things that were stopping you. Get rid of things that was holding you back. Get rid of things that don't serve you no purpose. Be more consistent, more reliable, and Trust me, everything gonna go in your way. So that old way of doing things, if it's not working, you need to get rid of it and find a new way. 
and switch switch the game up for me. Everything, the energies right now is very balanced. It's very good. There's no negative things and there's no negative charts in the air. So we need to be taking advantage of this shit and not being caught up. Only thing that's here is Mercury retrograde. But of course, that's only if you allow this negative shit to haunt haunt you and haunt you. And when you ponder on it, you're gonna play out these energies, and the energy is gonna hit you where it hurts. Feel me? That's the internal, the feminine, very sensitive. Take care of it, man. Real shit. And we got a Chiron, Sextile, Uranus, so freedom, spont being spontaneous, and being more intellect is where we need to be more reliable. On stop letting people. So you gotta understand, and understand. Don't change your ways. The way you was when you was a kid, it's need it's need to be the way you was, is now being a being an adult. So with that being said, you need to actually don't change your ways. Be yourself. Be thyself. Once you get into this public arena of being an adult, getting not going to school, working a nine to five, your creativity, your instability goes towards that. So you're being robbed for your true desire, your true purpose, your true value. To fucking work or do this shit. Feel me? We all can't handle work, but we ain't can't handle work for nobody. We can't handle work for ourselves. But being that money is in the picture now that things is going to be a little ruffled up. Things are going to be a little scattered and shit and all over the place. So with that being said, we need to actually put time into actually put more, more work into ourselves and knowing ourselves. And that goes with you knowing your one, your rising, your ascendant, and your moon sign. Once you know these three, you'll be able to actually get tap into yourself and know thyself. Or if you just act into your own nat natural ways of doing things, it'll come into existence. And you won't have to actually be stagnated into something that you was forced to be put upon and you ain't had to you ain't had no choice but to do it. Nah. Everything starts with you, for me. Just because your parents put leaded you in the wrong direction, that don't mean you just stay fixated. Into something, no, we, yeah, for the fixated signs, which is the Leos, Scorpios, Aquarius, and Taurus. We don't, we don't stay fixated. We gotta switch our shit up, especially dealing with people, places, and things that put us in circumstances and situations to keep us stagnated and fixated on what we need to do as and work hard and say nah, they don't go like that. Find your desire, find your purpose, find that, find what you're good in, and get into it. Feel me? That's you. That that's your that's your way of doing things, and not just basically getting yourself involved into something that really serves you no purpose. It's real shit. We need to fix that. And we got a try on trying into NATO. So basically, it's all about creativity at this point. It's all about new ways of thinking, practicality, and being more consistent and more. Reliable, because the universe is looking for people that's reliable and that's gonna stay on point. And if you're not reliable, if you ain't on point, then they ain't gonna bother fucking with you, man. They're gonna let you go. They're gonna release you. It's basically you're just gonna be temporary. You're gonna be temporary. They ain't looking for people that's permanent. And if you ain't permanent, if you ain't consistent, you ain't dominant, you ain't on board, you ain't on task. If you don't really want it that bad, then if somebody else is going to take your goal, somebody else is going to take your achievement, somebody else is going to snatch it from you. They're going to snatch your spirit and your soul out your motherfucking body. And you're going to be bodiless. You're going to be spiritless. You're going to be soulless. And if you ain't serious about this shit, then you're going to fall. You're going to get washed up under the current, man. And the universe is going to keep creating more opportunities for you to actually get to where you want to get to in life. No matter if you come out last, no matter if you come out in the middle or you come out first. It's all about consistency. Everybody going to make it. But the question is, are you going to put yourself into a circumstance, situation of enjoying life now? Or are you going to basically say, oh, fuck it. Are you going to commit suicide and put your dumb ass monkey ass right back in the same circumstance, situation, predicament that you was in the past life? No, motherfucker. You need to be focused. You need to be serious. And be really taking time to see yourself. This way shit can go into your favor quickly and not slow pacely. Because when you vibrating low, shit going to go slow. When you vibrate high, feeling good, shit gonna go fast. When you smiling every day, shit gonna go fast. When people question you or why you always smiling, shit gonna go fast. Keep smiling. Don't fix your way. Don't act no. Don't act no other way. For me, keep smiling. Express yourself. Express your creativity. Express your instability. Express your emotions. Express your feelings and ideas and concepts. 
Be more open. Don't hold back. Don't hold grudges. Don't hold bars. Be out. Be open. Shine bright. Act bright. Feel good. Use your sun sign. Use your moon sign. Use your ascendant sign. Combine that shit. Use the elements, motherfucker. Real shit. For real. Basically, what else we got on the charts? So Mars and Capricorn. So that means your aggression towards your businesses, your careers, your desires is at a high, high state. Your energy levels is high. Your passion level is high. You being more careful and thinking things through and getting this shit done is at a high pace. I and mean, that's what you need to do. You need to write down. You need to get rid of the old shit. Write down new beginnings and stay fixated on what you really want to create. Feel me? Be Get straight to it. Feel me? Be like the four elements of the Cardinals, of, which is Aries, which is also Capricorn, which is Libra, and which is Cancer. The summer and the things of being fixated and the things of starting things. So, with that being said, you you guys are here to create. And you got to use all these elements in order for, your sh for shit to go in your way in your favor. And when you use these elements and you actually dive deep, your goal and your orientations and your commitments and your values and your structures is going to come into existence. And the universe is going to see that and the universe is going to allow that shit to happen to you in a positive scale. But if you're not really using the energies and you're being stagnated, and you're just letting yourself be out there in the open and not being creative, you're going to get lost into your desires. You're going to get lost into this planet. Because we came here to create. We came here to, to go rise above and not come back here and get downgraded. Real shit. Take advantage. Also, we got Jupiter. Mm. Saturn and Capricorn. So emphasis and consistency is at a high rate. So Saturn is looking for you to be consistent. Saturn is looking for you to be responsible. Saturn is looking for you to be reliable. Saturn is looking for you to be strict. Saturn is looking for you to be on point, on board. Saturn is looking for structure, building, rising above. It's like the father figure of the planet. So we all got this in our in our blood. We all got this in our spirit. We all got this in our soul. So that means we gotta be very, very cautious and very aware, high alert of how we put ourselves in our desires and our wants and needs. Don't get too fixated onto that. Don't get too Pluto as as in admiring things. Know when to disintegrate things and know when to utilize things at a certain point of view and structure in this way. Things won't be too chaotic. Things won't be all over the place. Structures and instabilities will be balanced. You got to be harmony. You got to use harmony into this shit. You got to be practical. You got to be grounded like the earth signs. Or shit. So Uranus and Taurus. So that means freedom and our desires. For me, being more open to more opportunities and making money, expressing ourselves being more structured and find our true purpose and actually being more open up. Some people are, a bit, are into the positions of actually wanting to quit their job and looking for a, a, a workforce that's going to basically benefit them and put them into a comfortable state and not for them to be relying on other people, places, and things to help them out. Because you don't want to keep relying on people, places, and things. Everybody got their own way of actually doing and putting in work. Put in the time and, you know, everybody can, can't be a helping hand. You got to make sure you put money away and being very careful how you spend your money. And stop spending your money on stupid shit, bullshit, feel me? Especially with Mercury retrograde into play, you don't want to be spending your money and just, boom. The thing, your value you was looking for and wanted, it's taking forever to fucking get here. So, feel me? These ideas and concepts are going to pop up. So, be very cautious and very aware and very alert at how you spend your money and, and get in dark into routines and patterns that's going to hold you back yeah. and pretty much keep you stagnated and left back behind. Very important to make sure you're consistent and very fucking focused. Real shit. Excuse my language. 
So Sun Sextile and Mars. So that means it's time to take action. It's time to stop procrastinating. It's time to it's time to stop being held back. Be serious, be focused, be fixated, and be on point. And actually don't wait. For me, it's time now. It's time to actually be focused and show your true purpose and utilize your true value and what you have to offer to the world. Feel me? It's very important to make sure you're putting time into yourself and making sure you're focused. Or else, somebody else going to take your focus and use it for their own desires. And you're going to get lost in being at war with yourself because you think it's you. But your thoughts and your feelings and ideas and emotions ain't you. It's other spirits that's trying to have experience. And you got to find yourself and know thyself in order for you to actually participate in what you need to participate in and being very careful of how you utilize in these energies so these energies won't wash you up under the current. Real shit. So. Venus and Jupiter. So that means love, being more open to people and relationships are out here for course and you need to like really take time into that and value these things feel me don't start on new relationships don't start on new nothing focus on what's in front of you work what's in front of you and work your way up this way you really need to look for weaknesses in your relationships y'all working together coming together finding out new ways and being more open and feel me trying out new sex positions and actually being more expressive and being more excited, doing more fun things, traveling more places, having the same need and wants of having understanding and overstanding of psychological purposes, references, inf information, wisdom, knowledge. That's what I need to be focusing on when we got Venus and Jupiter. Or shit. Or if it ain't that way, then things gonna go in a negative scale. We got Venus semi. Mercury. So basically that's basically dealing with satisfaction and um that's dealing with um love and and thinking and communication. So and there's a sextile it's in between. So what y'all need to be focusing on is ways of how y'all gonna build and structure your relationship, being more practical with things and Making sure y'all being satisfied with how y'all express yourself and wondering is this relationship for me or not or what you need to be focusing on or finding ways and finding structures to help in your relationship. But don't get fixated on it, like, feel me, trying to uplift somebody if they ain't trying to do better, feel me? Because at the end of the day, you're here, you're here on this earth to manifest in your own manner. And helping somebody every, every fucking day is going to be frustrating for you. And if they're not on the same page, same spiritual level as you, and they chakras ain't activated as yours. And I'll guarantee you, you're going to be experiencing frustration. And you're not going to be satisfied. And at the end of the day, if you ain't satisfied or you ain't happy in your relationship, get the fuck out of it. Because it's going to keep your orb, your aura go, going down. And you want your aura or your orb to keep going down. You want this shit to keep going up and higher and keep rising above. That's core structure. High structures, not low structures. Real shit. So, another thing is... We got Venus square Saturn. So that basically, that's dealing with Venus square Saturn. So that's love being squared in and Saturn being squared into love also. So that means we're going to have love and we're going to have restrictions. We're going to have limits. We're going to have things we don't like. We're going to have things we need to talk about, express ourselves and be more open and gratitude, gratitude towards. So... For me, it's good to have, you know, sep separation into play. It's good to, like, have time and have space. All spirit needs space. Can't be stagnated with your partner all the time because that shit can cause frustration. That shit can cause anger. That shit can cause all kind of problems. So it's good to have space and not get caught up into concepts and ideas of always being around your partner. For me, everybody needs space, man. Everybody needs it. I'm telling you, man. Especially when you're dealing with mundane errors and mundane world and mundane life. You need space. You need to get your mind right. You need to get your soul and your spirit and your body right. Feel me? You need to have time for yourself. You need to be able to go to sleep butt-ass naked without your girl complaining or your, 
or it's the vice versa, feel me? Just have your balls all out, you know, have your legs all out, just flat out and shit. <laughs> you need to like really, feel me, you gotta, you gotta feel good about yourself, feel me? You can't just be too serious about life, you gotta like express yourself, be more, be, smile, man, smile, be smile, make sure you're smiling, feel me? Don't ever have a straight face smile all the time, real shit. Venus square Pluto, so intense passion and hidden agendas. So Venus is dealing with love and Pluto is dealing with secrets, affairs, feel me, transformation, death, rebirth. So things that's hidden is going to basically play out with these spectrums, with these energies coming up. These are upcoming energies. These energies ain't taking the full effect as yet. But once we get into March, y'all going to really see it's going to be a whole lot of shit for me. Cuffing season about to be over, feel me. S spring coming into the mix, summer coming into the mix. So females want to get wild and loose out here and shit. So also men want to get a lot wild and loose too. For me, cuffing season about to be over. So that winter shit is about to be detriment, dead, fall. It's about to go down. So for people that ain't loyal, you gonna see these secrets and hidden agendas that's going on, and basically you're gonna basically make a move. Whether you're going to make a move by actually allowing this shit or you're going to make a move by actually getting out of that relationship because you already know what's about to happen. Especially if the relationship ain't working right now, y'all need, need to reconsider. Especially y'all need to sit down and talk. And if things don't actually start taking place and it's in changing on a, var on a variable way, then I guarantee y'all that shit ain't going to work out for me. Especially if they ain't your twin flame or if they ain't your soulmate. And if y'all don't see eye to eye, y'all don't got the same concepts, you ain't on the same level. Feel me? It's not going to work out. That's why it's just very good to make sure you find somebody that's going to fit your purpose in life. And not find somebody that's going to fit your desire with a big butt, big titties, fat ass, fat vagina. Feel me? Or sex desirable or sex passions. Feel me? Find your purpose. The only one with your desire. And that's real shit. So we got also v Venus square, Venus semi sun, sun square. So that's dealing with romantic affairs, desires, passions. Like we really got to find time into ourselves. That's whether you, especially people that are single too. People that are single, you need to find time into yourself. Utilize that time and be and feel free and feel happy. You, you um. So happy that you're single because being single is a good thing and being single is a bad thing. So you just got to take point out the goods and bads. And once you do that, you'll be able to actually know what you need in life and know what you don't need in life. But at the end of the day, you're still going to need a soulmate, a twin flame or something that's going to lift and rise you above. And I'll get caught in this eyes and going from woman to woman to woman to woman and realize that at the end of the day, you're just wasting your time. And wasting your creativity on these women. And you ain't find the woman that you want to need. Because you just out here lost in your desires. And you don't know thyself. So you just basically putting yourself in a certain situation. Yeah, I got to do a video on um how to find your twin flame in astrology. I'm going to break that down. And basically explain it to y'all. Which I need to do. Which I need to consist on. Real shit. Also. Now let's. That's, bas that's basically it. And I'm about to basically get into the um, sun and moons and Neptune, which is dealing with Pisces. And also you can add Jupiter into the mix. So with the first house, that's basically dealing with yourself, how you self, how you self express yourself into the public arena, how you are. So basically that what you, what you need to do is be selfish with this kind of, with this energy. You need to be more, ex be more determined, be more fixated on what you, what you want to manifest, what you want in front of you, what doors you want to be open, what values and ideas and concepts to go your way. And that's dealing with the first house, which is the sun in Pisces and the moon in Pisces. Basically, with that being said, you need to find your 12th house, find out where your 12th house is, because that's dealing with dreams, imagination, creativity, and stability. Find your first house, and that's going to correlate to what you need to do in the first house. If your 12th house is in your first house, that's dealing with self, self-indulgement, what you need to do, what you want to manifest. Write everything down on paper, 
and make sure you utilize the words I will and manifest with that for me. That's why it's good to meditate. That's why it's good to go within. That's why it's good to actually have imagination and not get caught up into your desires and shit and not get lost by using your talent, but actually use your gift, how you was created, which is a gift. And your talents being expressed on how you carry yourself out through certain obstacles that you're indulging in. So second house, sun and moon. With this being said, you need to focus more on your values, your concepts, how you deal with deal with your money, your finances, your desires, your your pleasures. See, that's dealing with the way you carry yourself, and that's the way you express yourself. And <clears throat> what basically makes you smile, makes you happy. That's dealing with jewelry, materialistic items, and stuff. You need to be very cautious of how you spend it and just dream of already having it. Have imagination of already having those desires and not get caught up into the concepts of, oh, damn, I need to save this amount of money. I need to have this. No, just feel good about yourself. And I guarantee you the circumstances and situation is going to come up to where you actually imagine and create these obstacles to go your way. So third house, sun and moons. So this is dealing with how your ideas and concepts, this is basically like, this is dealing with, with the Mercury, the intellect, the, your ideas, how your ideas is being pushed out, pushed above, how your emotions, how your ideas and concepts is being fluent, how it's being pushed out, your creativity, what you want to manifest, what's on your mind, having a picture, a dream, adding color to it, because that's dealing with the um, unseen. Which is your first eye, your spiritual eye. You want to actually manifest and create this shit. And you want things to go into your way, into your structure. You need to have ideas and concepts on how you actually transparent these. The way you travel, places you go, people you see, the way you express yourself. For me, that's what you need to be focusing on. If this is in your third house. Because this is how you're going to express yourself to, to, through the world. And everything is always dealing with self first. So this is for all, all um, signs in the third house, which the sun, sun and moon is participating in, and you're using Neptune and Jupiter. So, with that being said, you have to have intellect. You gotta have consistency. You gotta have instability. And you gotta self-indulge in things that's gonna go your way and where you want it to go your way. De depend on people you want to be relative with and people you re relate to. Fourth house. This is dealing with. The caring energy, the the feelings, emotions, the ideas, home, security, and stability. So, if you're dreaming of a of a dream home and you want to manifest that dream home, and you want to have a family that come together, you want to have a family that works towards having a dream home. These this can actually take place if you do, if you put yourself in the right vib frequency vibration energy. Whether you got people that's on your side that's participating in these energies or you're just doing this by self-indulgement and speaking into existence. This can actually manifest. Being that we got the sun in Pisces, moon in Pisces. And the more you put time and effort into doing that, the more it's going to actually take place and manifest. So, yeah. So, fifth house. We're dealing with fifth house. We're dealing with self. That's basically, you can tie that back back to the um first house. Dealing with self-expression, self-imagination. Drama, romance, everything. This is you. This is how you express yourself to the public. For me, because that's first. Second house is dealing with someone. You can also correlate this with numerology, which is two, someone around you. Dealing with what's, this, what's being pushed out. So with that being said, if you want to be an actor, you want to be an actress, you want to have a desire, a passion for that, you want to act as a role model, uh, with that being said, this is how you express yourself by using the second house energies. By basically pushing out and being consistent and not having self-doubt and not worrying about what the fuck anybody else think about how you express yourself in the public arena. If you really want to manifest that, you go for it. That's what's called being an actor. That's what's called manifesting. Don't care about what nobody else say. Those other people is going to basically create another orb to block you and stop you from what you really want to be in life. Don't listen to no person, place, or thing, especially if they're not on the same path, path of seeing you. Having the desire of what you really want to manifest on this planet. No, fuck all that shit. Forget that shit. Sixth house. So, basically, this is dealing with the creations, creativity, and stability. So, whatever you, you have desires of, you want to be a herbalist, 
or you want to do things health wise or do culinary culinary this is your creation this is your goals you put your mind body and soul to that shit and you stay focused and stay fixated on what you really want to manifest and bring it to existence because if you're consistent and you're reliable then the universe is going to be like okay cool we're going to use this person boom now we're going to create obstacles and blockages to see how well you take this and if you can basically be consistent and basically teach about health and manifestations then everything's going your way and basically you're not giving up and not letting the mundane or the day-to-day -day be basis hold you back then you'll be actually be able to actually manifest this and take part into what you really need to do and manifest on helping the world which is her humanitarian which is the 11th house but soon you'll get there eighth house i mean seventh house this is dealing with relate relating so basically you got somebody you like and relate to you got love desires love affairs and you really want to manifest and bring that to existence the time is now you can use your sun and your moon and you can use the energies the elements that's in the sky right now because everything is looking real great everything is looking real positive everything is looking real blue and green for me the gold the money the score for me everything what you really want to aim for is already manifested what your dreams imagination creativity and once you're putting time into this shit it can actually take place and manifest and go in your way so that's why it's very important to make sure you're consistent and make sure you're being on point what you really want to manifest and bring it to existence because your spirit created everything so that means you are the creator and out here what you see with your two eyes your creations which you need to basically put time and effort into so with that being said you need to find what you're good at and indulging and find your twin flame which of course you can use this seven house things you will relate to seven house will believe how you reflect yourself in the first second will be basically be what you value and love other people value and love there will be how you communicate travel and go above as dealing with other people places and things forth will basically be how you care and love which somebody like around your friend can bring a friend your family member can bring a friend around and boom, you like that girl. Boom, fifth house would be the way you self-express yourself. How you take yourself into the public arena. Somebody may like that of you, boom. Sixth house would basically be how you have your creations, your goals, your desires, what you manifest. Boom, seventh house would be basically how you relate. And if people that can relate with your, relate, with your relationships, whether it's social media or needed something, that's how you find it to the flame. Eighth house would basically, base, basically be based on secrets affairs and everything so of course if you got somebody that's cheating on you or some shit like that or you think somebody cheating on you and really want to tap into that consciousness all you gotta do is have it on your mind and utilize the energies that's being played out and this can really manifest you can see what's going on for me so there's many ways to actually tap into this shit so don't think for a second that it's not there's many ways to tap into this shit and this transformation is a good time to actually get all that bacteria and all those parasites off your skin and off your body and out of your spirit out of your mind body and soul almost to the point where you need to actually put more manifestations more time and energy into what you really need to be self-indulgent into and ninth house pluto i mean ninth houses now that's dealing with um creativity f f philo philo philosophical point of views Traveling, manifestations, knowing new ways and new connections and new ideas and concepts of actually being pushed out into the public arena. It's the way you're expressing yourself out there into the community. New ways and new ideas of being more open and showing more value to people, places, and things. And not being too fixated, but having more routines and patterns and actually being more open. So with that being said, that means you can utilize these energies and you have more intellect. And basically, the more you have, the more clairvoyance you use, the more you'll be able to astonish more information where you need to actually put yourself in a circumstance situation to get where you need to want, want and be and deserve to be in life. Now, 10th house, that's dealing with structures, building, careers, relating. That's dealing with the intellect. So basically, that's like dealing with serious business so you got this in your 10th house that means your dreams your structures your goals orientated it's going to manifest the more time and effort you put into it but if you want to the opposite side of energies of self-doubt and not putting time into it you're going to keep creating that all and keep knocking down your building and knocking down those bricks 
What you need to do is uplift those bricks. What you need to do is build those bricks. And what you need to do is formulate those bricks so those bricks can keep rising above and not keep coming the fuck down. Because we're not coming down. we going up, feel me? Those that want to come down are the parasites that's down in your belly, that's chewing you out, that's trying to stop you from your goals, that's trying to fuck with you. You need to be on the highest leg level and not be caught up into those concepts and situations of actually having self-doubt. No motherfucker, that shit over with. Another thing we need to also tap into, which is the 11th house. The 11th house is dealing with unique, rebellious freedom, obstacles, helping the world, structures, being point of views. Yeah, it's time to actually do that. It's time to really say that. Save the world, feel me? And depending on who you is and what you are, what you're capable of doing, you need to really manifest that and bring that to existence. And the only way for you to actually participate in that is actually being consistent and not giving up on yourself. Stop procrastinating. Stop holding back. Stop holding grudges. Get to where you need to want, get to where you need to be in life and manifest. This way, shit can go into your favor, into your natural alignments. Boom. Act in your own nature. Don't try to do something that somebody else already did. No. You need to do it the way you do it. Do it the way you're comfortable with doing. It. Do it the way you ex love expressing yourself. Do it the way you love talking about it. Do it the way you love relating to people, places, and things one on one or in the public arena. That's what you need to do. Fuck what everybody else did it. Or how else everybody else did it. And the 12th house. This is dealt with the dreams, imagination, creativity, illusions. For me, yeah. You can dream all you want. You can have imagination all you want. You can have creativity and stability all you want. You got to express that shit out into the open. Yeah, you can do it well internally. But we want to see how well you can do it externally. And when you do that shit, when you stick with it, and actually express it, and manifest it, and, and smile every day, and have creativity and stability... With that being said, with Neptune and that planet, and Jupiter into that planet also. With that being said, everything is going to come into existence because that's the realm of the unknown, the unseen. You need to actually use all four elements, which is fire. Well, you're already using water, which is the dreaming, the dreams. You're already using practicality by actually having this inside of you. But what you need to do is bring this shit forward. Dream that, bring those imaginations forward. At. Bring those practicalities forward forward bring that earth forward bring that fire forward bring that water forward express that air communication thinking creativity and stability express that out more this way when shit hit the fan people are gonna see that shit and things gonna manifest and go into your way into your purpose into your value of life fuck what everybody else say fuck what everybody else think it starts with you put yourself first and stop putting yourself first for others and that's how you're going to manifest on this motherfucking planet. And that's real shit. And that's sun and Pisces and moon and Pisces. Damn, it's been.